पिक्किम से हमारे बीच आ रहे हैं हमारे युवा वक्ता जोरदार तालियों के साथ उनका स्वागत कीजिएगा यशल दोरजी तामंग It's the economy that's stupid. It, this was a line from the James Carville U.S. presidential campaign in 1992. Now, economy of good economy of every other country is very important, and for any country to be fully developed, good economy and good polity, political stability is a must. A very warm good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Well, talking about uh, good economics and good politics. Now, everyone has their own. Our uh, views regarding these topics, what ha it, it's very subjective. It lies in the eyes of the beholder. But when we say that good economics uh, makes good politics, is it realistic enough for our country? So when where, where do where does our democracy stands when it comes to good economics making good politics? Now, if we see our history and statistics, its history stands testimony to the fact that in our country, people usually. Don't give much preference to economic uh, performance. Uh, if you see the electoral results of the past, what is happening is people is preferring uh, uh, patronage over economic performance. But now, slowly, gradually, times are changing. Mera Bharat badal raha hai. What is happening is people are people are in fact giving preference to economic uh, stability. And when we when we talk about economic stability, if we look at the uh, if we look through uh, 2000 and thereafter elections, what is happening is the government that delivers higher rates of economic growth has the ha ha has been written to the governments. So this proves that our democracy is maturing gradually. And now, if today voters hold their leaders accountable on the basis of the preference rather than patronage, both accountability and the governance stand to the benefit. Now, therefore, it's a fact that high economic growth generated by incumbent government significantly enhances the chances of ruling party getting re-elected. And this gradual shift within this attitude of the voters proves to be very positive, because when we do away with all this politics, politics of asking votes with open palms, with projecting one's caste-based politics and communal agendas, we, today's voters they demand action and not words. If you you either perform or you perish. So, as a layman, from my perspective, the aim of my kind of society is not to maximize the GDP, but to maximize happiness, which comes from good politics. And good politics, further, in turn, comes from the good economic stability. And which, uh, lastly, last but not least, good economy mediated through good governance uh, definitely makes good politics. Thank you. We just heard Yashil Dorji Tamang from Sikkim. 